You boys chose a full safe. A bad haul. <laughs> okay, girl. Hey, friend. Hello, mister. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money?
See, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. Whatever. Yeah, it was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. You bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, you reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 no wait. <laughs> You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Please, you gotta get me out of here. Well, welcome, partner. First time? Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. That's going to be great. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rhodes is welcoming, to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Hey, no customers over there! I know the sheriff! I know everyone in Rhodes! I'll see that you hang! Oh, Jesus above! You run real funny. Boom!
telling you the truth. He's got me chained up. I don't look quite right. When use. Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. You're... Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Yards closed. Get out. Oh, my, my. I guess I'll come back later then. That's good. Keep it up. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. You're gonna get it! Ah, shit. I hope 
this hole's dug. Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. you leave me here? Oh, uh, you're still down there? Yes, I'm still down here, because nobody will help me. Will you do something, please? It's a fool decision. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing or no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Oh, you, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Please, please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Don't take him away from me. He's all now, I got. I'm just gonna check your pockets. Please, don't listen to that maniac. He, he ain't my father. I can't lose him. Not again. Please shoot through these shackles. I, I can't spend another day down here. Please! How the hell can I be his son? Oh, hurry, get these shackles off me, please! I'm never getting out of here, am I?
the chains! Shoot the chains! Oh, oh, thank you! That sick son of a bitch kidnapped me, made me pretend to be his son. I owe you for this, mister. That is no way. Come on. Hate. Hey, partner. Just shut up. All this Lamorne air is free for you? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant? Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority! Uh, if you're. Uh, you're uh, uh, Yes, I was told. <laughs> Gentlemen. Howdy, All right. partner. All right. 
How can I help you? Hello. What? Whiskey, please. For those who know which way the switch will go. Here's your sauce. Mm-hmm. Hey, ain't I seen you poking around Caliga Hall? Well, maybe not, but I rarely forget a face. It's the biggest state east of here, Gray's place. We've been having a lot of trouble with another family, Braithwaite's. Kind of low-down folk who do anything to put another dollar in their pockets and take another one out of yours. That's a long story, but we're all on our guard of late. So just be careful where you wander around these parts. You hear? Hello, gentlemen. How do you do, sir? Hello, mister. We've had quite enough of your kind. I here. love a man who takes his duty seriously. Come on, my girl. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. 
quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Could try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Hey, hey, not so fast. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Bear right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. A drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. 
the cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Think you take this one, Bill? With pleasure. Add them to the pile, Arthur. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about you. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
tear you to pieces, you son of a bitch. Look out! That one nearly hit! I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Well done! <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think Watch they were out. the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. Huh? You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Look out.
want to stop for a breather, you let me know. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Good morning, Arthur. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. Reverend? Arthur, my boy! Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. You okay? Arthur. You good there? Of course. Why? Rich country. So get to work, all of you. We can do well and fine here for a while. They will not think we came this way. So get to work. We still need money. Lots of money. Get to work. Hello, Arthur. Well said. Especially you, Arthur. Hey, I always do my share. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. for 
particularly silly. Mr. Morgan. Always good to see you. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi there, Arthur. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. All things considered, it ain't that bad. Sure. My lady? Don't worry, Arthur. Domino's isn't for everyone. You're a good worker. Thank you, Arthur. Mr. Pearson. Okay, Mr. Morgan. You seem in a good mood. I do? Okay, maybe not then. Sure, Arthur. You want to sit, Mr. Morgan? It'll shut you up. I'll try. But father ain't nothing I know about. Here's a hint. Act like you ain't a selfish, bloodthirsty It's good to be warm. You mean luck? Sure. Shut up. Hey there. Take off the badge. It's stupid. Everything all right? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Just making sure. I suppose. There she is. Hi. This is Ed. Hi, Arthur. Reverend. Arthur. Oh. Oh, Arthur. I know what you're thinking. I ain't thinking much. Drunken idiot, that's what you think. I got bigger problems to worry about. Have you, Arthur? Have you? That's nice. Good for you. Good for you. But Karen, don't do this to yourself, please. Hello, little lady. You got lady. a choice, Bill. Sure. Hey, Bill. I got a choice. That's nice. Good fire here, hey, Arthur. Hey, folks. Room here by the fire, Arthur. Hello. Hello. All good, Arthur? Yep. Hello. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. Mr. Swanson. Now, one that sounds sincere. I thought I'd said hello. Maybe not. Sadie. Arthur? You look pissed off. <clears throat> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Mm -hmm. Come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. 
Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Aww. That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <laughs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> Whoa. What did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Arthur, a dog. A dog. You're gonna have to look after him. I will. And make sure you don't get any of the food. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Bye-bye. Keep at it, Marston. Don't want that fire going out. You're keeping busy? Well, don't let me stop you. There he is. Hey, Arthur. Hello there. Hello. Hey there. Hello, Arthur. You sure you're okay? I'm fine. Well, if you ever need something, you let me know. Well, I should get back to it. See you later. Charles? How are those fire arrows? Good, thank you. What are these? Oh, a little different. Poisoned arrows. My uncle showed me how to make these when I was very young. Poisoned arrows? Mm-hmm. Uh, not very nice, but very effective. You got me some oleander, and I'll make you some. Thank you. I should be getting on. Sounds good. Hey, I'm Morgan. Mr. Strauss. Okay. Hey. Hi there. Any leads? I'm working on something. Okay, then. Ah! Damn right it's okay. <laughs> Get lost, Bill. Oh, half shit. 
All right. Hey. Managing not to annoy folks? Very funny. You okay, Lenny? I'm fine. Just ignore that son of a bitch. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson? Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Okay, I'll catch you later. Come on, there. get it while it's hot. Okay. Hello. Uncle. How are you? I've been better. Arthur. Hey there. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. Okay, then. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. Well, we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. Hey. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Right. This is when we have to be our strongest. We're gonna make it. We are gonna be okay, but please, Javier, I need you strong. Okay. Not okay, okay, yes or no. Strong or weak. Which is it? It's strong. Strong. Ain't like you to doubt Dutch. I ain't doubting. I just want to understand the situation. I don't think even Dutch fully understands that. Mary Beth? When are you gonna get cleaned up, Arthur? Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. Oh, you ain't so bad. So, are we supposed to call you Sheriff Morgan now? What are you up to? Thinking of heading out in a bit. Okay, we'll catch up with you later then. Uh-huh. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Bill? You good? Come on. Give me that again. Yes, hello, Arthur. Calm down. Yeah. Good one, Arthur. Ah. So 
go relieve one of the guards. Evening. Why don't you just sit down instead of milling about the place? How are you doing? Okay, considering. All okay? How's it going? So. Hello. Hey, Strauss. Hey. Damn tasty. All right. That's enough for me. You know, hey I ain't even sure who we running from no more. The Pinkertons? Cornwall? All the same thing in my oh, mind. Cornwall's sure to be lying in the oh, Pinkertons' pockets, along with everyone else's. Hello there. Is that a journal I see you writing in? Something like that. <laughs> That's good. Hi there. You know, I find it hard to care about too much. You ever wonder when you're gonna die? Try not to think about it. Could be tomorrow. Could be ten years from now. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. Hey, fellas. Hello. Don't work too hard. I work smart. Hi there. Hi there. You okay? All you know, right. I love too many you folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Come on. You can do better than that. Yes? What? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Well, maybe I don't understand the joke. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good. Hey. Tastes good. Are you gonna join us, Arthur? John Marston. That law uniform's clearly gone to your head. How are you, okay? For sure. Hey. Hey, Bill. How are you? Good evening. Everyone's mean. You and me both. <laughs> evening, Arthur. Evening, Arthur. Oh, Driscoll boy. If you'll excuse me. How you doing? Morgan. Hello. Bill. Hello. 
Hello. 